Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I bought because I have my Mohs surgery finally scheduled and I guess I've been like freaking out about it a little bit so I'm probably over preparing but so I bought a couple of things for that and then just a few other things that I'm going to talk about. It's going to be a short video and uh, I hope you join me. Stay tuned. Truthfully, there's only so much makeup, right, that somebody can buy, right, at least that I can buy. I don't, I'm not running to the Sephora sales or the Ulta sales or, you know, just running and spending a ton of money on makeup or skincare. I'm just, you know, basically using my tried and true. So it gets to be sort of boring a little bit in my videos because I'm not talking about anything new that I'm trying. So, um, yeah, it's just the way it is. <laughs> what can I say? Anyways, first off. I have bought a couple of things. I was on a hunt last year, and I don't know if I had mentioned this to you, and I don't know why I didn't think to look on Amazon for this, but I had been looking for, since we accidentally found this copper, kind of like a liner, and it's something that you can cook on a grill with. I'm gonna open this up. Whoops. You can, you can put it, they just come in pieces like this, and you can put it on a grill, right, and nothing sticks, nothing burns. So I had found this to be super, super helpful last year. I think Jay picked it up in the grocery store, probably in the barbecue section, and ever since then I've been looking for these pieces, and I could not find them. So they're sort of like oven liners or copper, you know, I call them copper because of the color, but they, and they probably are, they probably have copper in it, I don't know. Anyways, I'll link it below. I bought a seven pack. I couldn't believe it. I have been looking in the store and looking in the store and I could not find it. So when I make homemade pizza, for example, when we went camping, I would line this on my grill and I would make my pizza on my grill and my pizza would never burn by putting it on here. I would also line other things and put it right on a gas grill and that's got the flames, you know, so you really need to have something that isn't going to burn your food. And because it works so well on the grill, I also used it in my huge toaster oven in the motorhome because I was cooking stuff in there, you know, and so then at the end of the season, I brought it in the house. And all winter, when I make, and I probably make homemade pizzas maybe once every two weeks, but I usually make this really wonderful homemade pizza, and I rise the dough and I put it on here. No grease, no nothing, and I put it on here, and then I very carefully, sometimes I take a cookie sheet just to balance it with, and I slide it off my counter, and I put it in the oven, and I just remove the cookie sheet, so it's just this in the oven, but because it's kind of flimsy, it's going to be hard to hold a, um, a pizza that's not cooked. And I use this to cook my pizza. It comes out amazing. So last week my son was here. I had made two pizzas. I had my old leftover one and then I made the second one in a cookie sheet. And I was saying how I've been trying to find these oven liners or mats or whatever and couldn't find it. Well, my son went right on Amazon and found them. I said, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So I got a pack of seven. I'm going to give him a couple. Then I'll have a new one for the motorhome and two for the house. So I think that's, uh, and then one just there, basically. So I think that's really awesome. So what an awesome find. It's great for everything, especially if you are a barbecue person like we are. We cook so much on the grill. And then it works perfectly in the oven. I'm going to link it because I can't for the life of me remember the name of it. But it is well worth it if you like to cook outside and you don't want to have burnt food, but you like to have that outside, that barbecue, the flames, the open flames, um, just really great. It does not awesome if you do bliss potatoes. Like I I, um, I do a, like small little potatoes and I take Lipton onion noodle soup, not onions, Lipton onion soup, the powder mix, and a little bit of uh, olive oil and mix it together and just put the potatoes in that mixture and then Parmesan cheese near the top and I put it on here. It comes out 
awesome. So I love these. This is an awesome find. Yeah, Monica, I'm going to be a little house Susie Homemaker. I'm not good in the kitchen. I'm not good with any of that stuff, but this was a great find. The, the next find, and I haven't used this yet, but um, I bought a, a pack of like four. There's a paste, there's an other spray, there's, um, there, anyways, I, the reason I bought these is because Sheila and Marlene were going to town, and, and both of them are really clean freaks. They're more so than me. I'm a slob. My house is a mess, but that's me. But both of them are really into, you know, the nice, bright, shiny, clean-looking house. So um, they were talking about this, the pink stuff. Gosh, I've never heard of the pink stuff. But again, like, I'm not really into all the cleaning stuff, right? So they kept going on and on, raving about the pink stuff. And I said, I'm going to have to try this pink stuff. So I ordered, like, a multi-pack with a couple of different things. And um, so I haven't opened this one yet. This is the Bathroom Foam Cleanser. Cleaner, and I'm going to really looking forward to using this in my motorhome in the the shower stall and also I'm going to use some of this inside in the refrigerator it's a hot surfaces but it's supposed to be phenomenal so that came in this week along with my oven liner thing and I was like yes I was so super happy so uh, my Mohs surgery is scheduled for June 1st and um I know that's a ways away still, but I was, I'm really nerved up about it for whatever reason. And uh, it, it's going to, I'm going to have the extraction, I guess. I don't know what you call it, right? Where the, the surgeon is going to go in and remove and then they do the most procedure and take as much as they have to to get clean margins. And then later that day, not, not right at the same time the plastic surgeon will come and do his bit a couple of hours later because they don't really know how long everything's going to be and they've got patients and it's kind of hard trying to get the two of them to coordinate one day procedure so i'm really lucky i got a one day procedure and instead of having to go back the next day or whatever so they that's scheduled for june 1st and they've already told me some of the things that i need to be you know preventive on i need to and i know i'll probably end up having to have band-aids and stuff like that and that kind of got me thinking about a medical kit you know and it got me thinking and i said well i want to get a medical kit i want to think about this so i started to research a little bit more on Mohs surgeries and i found a youtuber and i'll link her channel she had a really great description of everything that she went through for her Mohs surgery and I was like riveted and she got she had these really cute band-aids on and I'm like thinking I'm gonna get flesh colored band-aids right so that nobody knows I have this big honker thing there right because surgery is June 1st on the 16th I'm doing a double in-person class so I'm teaching two classes back to back in person 16 days later so I know I'm going to still have something so she was wearing these most adorable colorful band-aids I thought holy mackerel you know so I ended up getting them they're called welly and this particular is just the band-aids and uh, I thought they were so cute on her whoops anyways you open it up and they have all these these different designs and I'm thinking okay Look at these colorful band-aids. This particular one would match perfectly with my top, right? Not that I'm thinking about that necessarily, but I guess I am. Anyway, super cute, colorful band-aids. Now, these are all your traditional sizes, you know, of, a, um, of, you know, some of them are a little narrower, some of them are thicker, but they're the straight band-aids. They don't have, let me see. I thought there was a couple of circle ones, but they go really small and then larger. And I thought they, I thought I saw a few circles in here, but now I can't see them. But anyways, I thought I thought they were the cutest things. So I ended up getting some of these band-aids so that I could have color coordinated band-aids with whatever outfit I'm wearing. And then I was thinking, gosh, it's been a long time since I really thought about a medical kit for RVing or even at home. So I ended up looking at the Welly uh, medical kit, just the small one. And this was so cute. It's labeled here so you know exactly what is in here. And I mean, they have, they have, they have all sorts of different things. They have cleaning gauze, they have 
um, you know, tape, different size band-aids, everything in here that you might need in an emergency situation if something were to happen, including, I think they had these non-stick pads, but I thought there was like some ibuprofen or something like that. Um, yeah, you know, so you've got a little tablet here, one package, and other one. So if you need any, any kind of, I can't read it because I don't have my glasses on, but if you need any kind of medical first aid kit really quickly, now I don't know what this one is, plain pain reliever and fever reducer, and cleaning gauze, you know, the, the wipes, sanitizing wipes, more band-aids, all different sizes, all different colors. So anyways, yeah, I went a little crazy. So I bought this kit and I thought, okay, it, I, it's something that everyone really should have anyways, you know, whether you're going through a surgical procedure or not, you should have some sort of a medical kit handy. And like anything else, you might have a medical kit that's old and maybe some of the stuff in there is no longer, or, you know, there's beyond their expiration dates. Like I had some old stuff in the gauze, not the gauze, but the um, antiseptic and the something else in there that was in there. I don't know if it was like some pills or some cream, some ointments and all that. They had like expired 10 years ago. <laughs> that's how long it's been. So I got this. And I got this, both of them from Amazon. And these colorful little band-aids just, I don't know, they just made me smile. So, yeah, so when I have my procedure, which is coming up, I'm going to be wearing those fancy darn band-aids. So, May, June 1st, today is, I'm filming this on May 1st. And um, it's going to come like this, I know. So, Jay and I have been really busy trying to empty out my dad's machine shop. There's so many machine pieces and bits and stuff like that. We've been really, really focusing on that and running and taking care of, helping to take care of my mom, who's not doing well, really has cut into my YouTube time. So I apologize, I'm slower at responding, but I love my YouTube time. So even if I'm not gonna be super consistent all the time with responding, trust me, I am reading and I will respond, so. And I feel sort of inadequate because I don't have anything new and exciting to, to talk about. For me, it's the same old, same old. Um, and one of the same old, same olds. And I'm kind of bummed because I wasn't really careful when I, when I ordered this. I guess I ordered the wrong size. But this is the DHC. This is the cleansing oil. And I believe this might be my fourth time buying it. And I believe it was Marlene who initially, Marlene Fab and Glam, who initially talked about this and I ordered it because of her recommendation. And I love it. It, it is what I use to remove my eye makeup. Now, because of my dry eye, I am super careful. I keep my eye closed while I'm removing all my mascara so that no little bits can get inside my eye. And then I rinse it really careful. And then I take the eye wash that I have. I have a, um, a wash just for my eyes. I take that and I rinse over it. And then I stop my cleansing routine. So my cleansing routine, uh, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been very, very, very consistently using certain products that I absolutely love. So I do this for removing my eye makeup. And then I'll go in with my Peaches Skin Care, my, my cleansing routine from Peaches that I really love. I'm still using my vitamin C. I have not run out of that. My vitamin C from Timeless. I think Timeless right now has a 40% off. I'm debating on buying one, even though I have a Peaches vitamin C that I want to try. But Timeless has always been, that vitamin C for some reason has always been a tried and true for me. So I'm debating on actually buying it just to have in case. I don't like the peaches. I don't know. I'm not anticipating not liking the peaches, but so I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I know they get the 40% off sale and, um, and I've been doing the Retin-A. So I've gone through this god awful peeling phase <laughs> in my skin with the Retin-A and I'm very, very careful. I don't go far up, although I really feel I need to work on my wrinkles under my eyes, but I'm just afraid to go too far up with my dry eyes. So far, everything is really okay. 
I'm still using my Nivea, so I use my Nivea in the morning and I try to firm up a little bit with, um, you know, with it really, I think it pulls and I tie a tiny little bit on my fat pocket. Um, I've been avoiding this eye on the fat pocket for just as a preventive, I guess. So, but other than that, uh, we're super excited. It's really warm today. I think the season might switch. We might be getting rid of old man winter and we might be getting ready to go out and, you know, and start to have some relaxation outside. We've taken the screens off the, the storm. We have like plastics we put over the screen in our back porch. So we've taken that off so that now we can sit under the back porch and all that. And so, you know, trying to deal with mom and thinking and trying to think of something for Mother's Day. So I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to get Mom to come up here or if we're going to just bring some food and go down and visit her yet. I have no idea. But, um, but I'm kind of like, I don't know whether it's just I'm optimistic about everything right now where for the longest time I haven't been. I'm just optimistic about a lot of things in my life. And I see progress being made, especially with our barn which was my dad's machine shop. I'm seeing progress being made. And, um, and that makes me super happy. So, yeah. I'll let you know how all my glasses work out when I'm on my bike. Because I bought all those like safety type glasses or thick glasses, sunglasses to be able to wear over my eyeglasses when I'm riding a bike. Because one of the things with the dry eye is to not get the wind up there. And so I'm trying to think of how to block the wind for those occasions when I'm riding into the wind. Most of the time I'm not, but you never know. You shift to go back, the wind shifts, and next thing you know you've got like a ton of wind going at you. And that can be difficult. I also have a follow-up with my doctor, the third visit for my ear. I thought I blew out my ear graph. I have a cold and I'm not supposed to blow my nose. I'm not supposed to cough. Well, you know, how can you prevent that, right? And um, I had blown my nose and I heard this big pop and I went, oh, caca. I, I blew it out. I don't think I did, but I thought I did. So I go back. I haven't worn earrings since before my procedure. I guess um, I never even thought about that, but he said don't, you know, especially heavy earrings. And most of my earrings are pretty decent, you know, weight. And so I haven't worn any earrings. I feel naked when I'm walking around without my earrings. So I've been wearing more, more of my jewelry. This is a necklace that I had given my mother many years ago. And on one side is my birthstone. And on the other side is hers. And so she gave it back to me. Not the necklace, but the charm. So the little egg, as I call it, it's beautiful. So she had given it back to me. So I've been wearing that. So I've been wearing more necklaces and things of that nature to kind of take away from the fact that I, I don't have any earrings. So anyways, I think that's about it. I think. <laughs> if I think of something, I'll do another video. But, uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and enjoy this good weather we finally have. Yay. Bye-bye, everyone.